Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Khalid Hidris, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. Equipped with exceptional entrepreneur skills, Pots by Recaf team won the 14th annual Young Entrepreneurs Competition in the category of University Company of the Year and Best Financial Performance Award as part of Injaz Bahrain's company program. This qualified the team for Injaz Al Arab Young Entrepreneurs Competition to be held next month. And to speak more about it, we have the Pots by Recaf team with us, Abdullah, Sheikha and Ala. Welcome guys. Thank you for having us. So I'd like to first ask you a little bit, like tell us about the, the project itself and what it entails. So pots by Recaf are self-watering pots made from coffee grounds. Hence the name Recaf, reusing coffee grounds. So we combine coffee grounds and fiberglass to make this pot, which has two parts. The first part holds the plant and the second part holds the water. Then it's delivered through this wool wick to self-water your pot. So it reduces water wastage and it encourages planting. This pot is fully sustainable in production and consumption. So when we produce it, we reduce carbon emissions up to 1.86 kilograms. And in consumption, it reduces water waste. It encourages planting, which takes the CO2 from the atmosphere and releases oxygen. So and this is our fully sustainable innovative. pot. Thank you. You know, it's a, and it's, it looks perfect as well, very natural looking. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a really amazing product and it's made for the times. So, how did this develop? Because you guys have, uh, you, you've competed, you've gotten like recognition for this product. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the development behind it? How did it reach this point? I'd say that we developed and reached to this point um, due to our constant research and our teamwork. Therefore, we, cha we faced a lot of challenges. One of the main challenges was uh, finding the perfect material for our pots. We tried several different materials such as epoxy, cement and pottery. They all uh, were failed and were unsuccessful uh, until we tried uh, using fiberglass. Fiberglass combined really well with uh, the coffee grounds and uh, it has three main aspects that made us think it's the perfect option. It's durable, affordable and sustainable. That's amazing, and I mean, we can see we can see the final result, and it actually, what I like about it is that it looks quite natural as well. So, can we get an explanation of like the the mechanisms behind it? Like, for example, how what is it, what are the benefits that come out of this watering system? So, basically, our pot is self watering. What does self watering mean? It means this part right here, you fill it with water, then these wicks deliver the water to the plant in a sub irrigation technique. The benefits of, of this is that when you travel, you often worry who's going to water my plant. So this pot offers the solution. At the same time, it prevents over and under watering. It gives the plant the exact amount of water it needs. Furthermore, it reduces water wastage. When you water the plant, you just spread the hose like this. This is too much water. When you use this pot, you reduce water wastage. It's always nice to see people like trying to reduce waste because I think we yeah. take stuff for granted these days. And I can see why you guys are getting the recognition that you are. It's very well deserved. Thank you. So I know you guys have a regional event coming up. Can you tell us a bit yes. more about that? So we just won the national competition, which still feels surreal to me. And we qualified for regionals. And since we qualified for the regional competition, our team is going to train under INJAWS for three months, an intensive training with the best of experts that INJAWS can provide to hopefully represent Bahrain in the regional competition in INJAWS Al Arab and we hopefully make our country proud. Well, congratulations. I can tell you one thing, we're already proud right here. Thank you um, so much. Because again, it, it shows like, an, alhamdulillah, Bahrain is thinking yeah. about the future. You know, we, we always take this stuff very seriously. And about this product, if we wanted to mass produce it, how would that be done? Uh, as a part of our vision is expanding and growing outside of Bahrain, we are looking to reach global and local, uh, sorry, regional markets. Our sales department are working on making our pots available all around the country uh, by collaborating with flower shops, gardening shops, and even coffee shops. And as for the mass production, 
uh, this is one of our short-term goals. As for the mass producing of this part, we're currently in discussion with our manufacturer to see different timelines and different product scenarios which we could use for the part. Whether we need to produce more molds, whether we need to slow down the factory and think of a strategy, these are the discussions happening at the moment in order to mass produce our part and even lower our costs. Well, that's, uh, again, this product is like, it, it's so revolutionary because like it's something so simple and yet it, it contributes so much to this effort. And I see so much Bahrainis I mean, these days, they're, they're really getting involved with, with um, innovative solutions to, to stuff that we're facing. Um, so do you guys have a message for the youth of Bahrain, anyone who's looking at you guys and wants to follow in that example? My message would be to go for it, but at the same time, make sure your idea is innovative, properly executed and solves a problem. Going into the market is hard. It's a challenge. But when you do it correctly, this challenge becomes an opportunity. We brought our company into life in the span of nine months. This was a huge challenge for us. But once you do that correctly, it becomes very rewarding. Well, thank you guys so much because this is, again, such an incredible product and I can't wait for it to become available, you know, all around Bahrain. So yes. thank you guys so much thank and so best much of luck with the you. next stage yeah. in this adventure. Thank, thank you. you. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've got a lot of exciting stuff happening with the youth of Bahrain, particularly under Injaz. So stay tuned and we'll be right back for more. The Bahrain National Museum held the launch of the 14th Bahrain Summer Festival on Monday the 11th of July 2022 with the presence of Her Excellency Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, along with high-level diplomats and representatives of the KSA Ministry of Culture's Heritage Commission, a number of those interested in the cultural matters of Bahrain and media. Hi, good evening. My name is Sayyid Javed and I am uh, uh, here. I'm, uh, I'm from India, basically, and I'm here for, for these events and uh, I'm so happy to see all these events happening after a long, long time, after COVID, you know, we've been waiting for, for things to happen. But now the children and uh, ourselves, we are all, you know, here to, to experience all these events. So nice, it's nice. In Bahrain, we have been around 13 to 14 years, we have been here and we have we went to a lot of uh, events before, before COVID, of course, but now, uh, again, again, it's nice to be back. This is nice, actually, the different cultures are there and uh, different type of people. We get to understand each uh, culture around and, and, and uh, have fun, you know, of course. And Eid is there, so, of course, everybody's very excited. Yeah, very happy, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, music connects and uh, we, everybody's so, you know, into it, you know. I just want to thank uh, everybody here, all the organizers, all the people around, and of course the participants and whoever is there. So, because, the, you know, it, it really gives uh, for children and us you know, an opportunity to, you know, get into things and, and enjoy, you know. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot. I like, like, classic music and like that. So uh, I, I want to watch the music right now. So I'm here for that. I'm here to for competitions because I really love competitions. And even for shops to shop, and for snacks and something like this. It feels different because I haven't went last year, so it feels different. I received an invitation regarding the Baharun Summer Festival. So I'm quite new here, so I actually try to take that opportunity to explore it. And it is really beautiful, the decoration, the everything actually is really festive mood. And after the Eid, uh, uh, actually we are trying to celebrate also. So I think our time will be spent very nicely here. We are from Pakistan, but we are working in Saudi Arabia. And we just came here today to visit the Bahrain, you know. The kids want something, you know. So uh, it's, it's good to have uh, nice weather with little, little summer, but it's good to have spend time in Bahrain. We got the hotel here and we want to explore more like uh, the in-depth, especially museum, forts, uh, of course the water park for the kids. My name is Ghania Adil Siddiqui and I came from Kober to 
enjoy here for my summer vacations. I want to see exciting things about tourism and everything, and I want to visit new places. We are very excited to um, see the event going on for the kids especially. They are very interested because vacations have started. For the activities including uh, what the kids can learn and uh, the cultural uh, things that they can learn and you know for the educational development also their personality uh, development skills. So um, this is very helpful because after Corona you know things got very uh, bad and kids uh, used to be at home all the time and we were all packed up and now Alhamdulillah everything is better back to routine so we are very thankful to Allah that everything is fine Alhamdulillah. I'm very actually excited to be here because um, my friend Leon and her sister um, are going to be on the stage and I'm very excited to see her and I haven't seen her for a while now because it's is a summer break. Well I saw something on her Instagram account and I was very I was like hmm we're going there. I, I was like so interested about that post that she posted on her Instagram account and I was very excited. Very excited for the um, cultural, um, the summer uh, event uh, to come back to Bahrain Summer 2022 and I'm here for the evening of uh, classical music by the superstars Hay and Leon and uh, I'm very excited for all the um, the lineup of amazing activities and performances that are uh, aligned for us this whole summer. Yes, uh, they are my relatives and Hay and Leon, and I'm very excited to see them perform live. So every time we are looking forward for a new piece of music that they are um, they have been practicing for some time now. They are preparing very uh, hard at work and uh, I'm sure that they will be performing well. They just came back from France with, uh, and they've been awarded as winners in a big competition. My name is Yusuf Al Aradi. I'm an art teacher in Ministry of Education in Bahrain. I I lead the workshop. It's called Ebro Art. It's a, like a drawing on water, or they call it some. They call it water marbling. Uh, I learned this uh, art in Turkey, in Turkey. And uh, now uh, it's uh, from 2012 I'm doing that and it's not first time I'm in uh, summer uh, festival Bahrain. Uh, this is I think the third time uh, and the uh, kids they enjoy that art. It's easy but it needs uh, special components. Uh, today we are really glad that we have uh, collaborated in this particular summer festival and we have organized a three days workshop uh, which is based on truck art and uh, truck art is uh, basically an art which uh, relates to Pakistan and it's now gaining popularity. So the idea uh, was to conduct this workshop and to introduce this art amongst uh, the Pakistani and Bahraini children who are uh, based in Bahrain. Um, we're with the Pakistan Embassy. We've collab the Pakistan Women's Association has collaborated with the Pakistan Embassy and we've brought an art festival, an art activity here today. 
It's been excellent actually. People have been very interested. The kids have been very interested. When you tell them about that it's truck art and how it's uh, where it's coming from, like the trucks are actually painted in, in Pakistan like that. So that becomes very interesting for them. And then they get really involved in the activity. On behalf of Pakistan Embassy, I, uh, I'm really grateful to Her Excellency Sheikha May for providing us this opportunity for presenting our art, introducing our art. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight, and another huge thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love to hear from you. This was Khalid Hijris, and until next time, good night and God bless.